Hi, this is, I'm, I don't feel like saying scrapbooking. Uh, I'm having a real hard time uh, focusing. Uh, I, um, <clears throat> I have a daughter that is uh, in her 20s. And I'm happy I have a grandson. It's just that she is bipolar schizophrenic. And uh, it's really hard right now. Uh, she's with a family that doesn't believe that she should be taking medication. She left me when she was 16 on her own choice, and they took her. They wanted her. They, they said, okay, I'll take her. And I um, was trying to have another baby and I uh, was having a hard time with her and and so they took her in they live very far and because she's not on medication has it been on medication since she's been with them uh, yeah, she's gotten pretty bad, but I don't know too much because that family does not communicate with me. Uh, I can't communicate much with my daughter because she is uh, unable to hold a conversation. And uh, when I ask about my grandson, about her, her son... Uh, she refers to him as a third person. So I get no information about him. And it's hard. Um, I have no control of anything that's happened to me. I really don't have social skills. <laughs> I used to, not anymore. It has nothing to do with my medication. It just has to do with uh, uh, things that happen and then uh, subconsciously it comes out in me and it comes out in rage or sadness or, or I'm guessing it, it, that it's pretty normal what I'm going through and how I'm able to deal with it, I'm guessing. <laughs> Although right now I do feel like crying a lot, but I think it's uh, normal c considering what I'm going through. Uh, I realized today that um, um, I have some serious issues with the social aspect of life. Uh, I went somewhere and hope you can hear me. I went somewhere today and I had to speak to a uh, representative for this company to get something from them. And I realized when I was speaking to them today, I wasn't able to understand what they were saying to me. And at that moment, I felt so stupid. So stupid. And uh, <clears throat> I went home and I thought about it. I don't go outside because I guess I don't really want to face the world. Um, I don't want them. To think, uh, oh, look at this woman. She's got children. How can she function? She doesn't look or behave normal. I'm a mom. I'm stressing and I have kids that I have a hard time trying to discipline them. It's frustrating when I have one twin wanting a gummy bear and the other one having a tantrum because uh, um, I don't want his uh, um, 
his cars that he rides outside to bring him indoors. Uh, it's pretty normal stuff, but as far as stress is concerned, I don't handle it well at all. But I, it's, uh, I think many people go through this. And I, I'm rambling. And I want to cry. And I know it has nothing to do with my medication. I'm bipolar. This, this, this happens. You go up, you go down. It could be a lot worse. <laughs> Oddly enough, <clears throat> being on YouTube, <laughs> I'm able to talk about what I go through, how I feel, how my brain just does its random thinking or and I'm not able to take in the information others give me or focus on them and my memory is out the door gone flew over the cuckoo's nest uh see I was going to say something and I I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm hanging in there. It's not what it used to be. As far as what I used to do. But it's very hard. To. Not being able to understand. What people tell me. Or read directions for something and not understand it. Or I end up in an argument because I really think that what I'm saying, I'm right. And I see it's confirmed to me that when I speak to someone else, they don't understand me either. And I become rude because I think they're nuts. <laughs> It's not, I'm just having a hard time. I was the one in school, sitting all the way in the back, hunched down, because I didn't want the teacher to pick me. I didn't understand anything. And for me, it was really embarrassing when maybe three times I, they tell me, raise your hand if you don't understand what I'm saying. Maybe the third time I raise my hand and they're like, you, f you still don't understand? Like, oh, no, no, no. I understand a part of it, but that's okay. I'll figure it out. I didn't have a mother that spoke English. She couldn't help me. She worked all the time. She was tired. I was a latchkey kid. So, I didn't do homework. Sometimes I didn't even bring my books. Had high school. And the uh, first day of school, you get those locks. For the lockers to put your books in. <laughs> Two times. I forgot the combination. All my brand new books. All my papers and pencils and nice things. You know, back then, I, I, being a student, it was nice to have nice paper and pencils. Uh, I forgot the combination, so it stayed in there. Had to pay extra money to get another locker, another lock. I forgot that one, too. Didn't carry books anymore. I left school when I was in 10th grade. I was embarrassed. Got married at 17. My marriage was for 11 years. Uh, I was going through a lot of issues. The family, I was mostly married to the family, not to him. I never wanted issues, no war. So, <laughs> I got divorced with his lawyer that was representing him in the divorce, in our divorce. I didn't have money. Well, they did. I, I, I never thought that I would end up being the mom, I really didn't want to be. I wanted to be 
an active mother in my children's life. Um, certainly a grandmother. Social skills? Well, going to shoot pool and hugging people. Telling them, hey, I love you. I'm so glad to see you. I have no more conversation with them. I don't want them to know that I don't truly know how to communicate. After that, I sit down and take score. And because I don't drink anymore, I'm not as loose or loose as far as being giddy and going around and hugging everybody and sitting down and um, bipolars understand. Spending money. I used to spend a, a month. I would spend over $2,000. Then maybe two years later, I went down to 1000 No. I did not have the money. Uh, my behavior started to change from one poison to another. Now the poison I choose is uh, caffeine. <sighs> right now it's 6 o'clock. And I'm actually going to sleep. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm in a loop. I can't get out of. My mind races. It's got too many thoughts. I'm paranoid. Um, paranoid that people may think I'm stupid. I'm not. I'm just not out in the world. I feel safe here. I know I have to face it to go outside and look at the sun or let it touch my skin. I literally take vitamin D3 because I don't, my body doesn't have enough of it. It's not easy. Then again, I don't think it's easy for anybody, sane or insane. We are good people. We mean, well, it just doesn't come out like that all the time.